Hey guys and welcome back. Today I am doing a very special video. It's actually a collab with a fellow YouTuber. Her name is Sally Choi. She is a lot of fun and she posts beauty videos on both drugstore and high end. So I will leave her link to her channel in the description bar below. I definitely recommend you go and check her out because she is really amazing. She actually reached out to me to see if I wanted to do a collab with her. So today we are gonna be sharing our top five favorite lip products of 2020. Most of the formulas that I'll share with you today, I believe were created or were released in 2020, but I actually think now that I'm looking at my pile, I think some of these were actually released in 2019, but I tried them in 2020. So that's why I am going to mention them in this video. But yeah, I'm really excited for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you to Sally for collaborating with me on this video. As I mentioned, definitely go check out her channel. I will leave everything down below in the description bar. But yeah, thank you guys as always for watching and let's just go ahead and get started. swatch everything on my lips as well as on the back of my hand but it's not really focused on the colors I just decided to choose formula favorites kind of interesting I guess they kind of surprised me when I put them all together I was kind of surprised by what products I chose what products I loved this year the first product that I want to talk about is the NYX Dazed and Diffused Blurring Lipsticks these are kind of like jumbo lip liners I guess because they are pencils and you have to sharpen them but they're like the jumbo size and they also have this little brush at the end so you're meant to like apply the product in the center of your lips and then blend them out with this little brush. I love this formula. It is so, so good. And I also feel like it's kind of underrated at the drugstore. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it, but it's such a good formula. I don't find it drying on my lips. I actually find it very comfortable. It's really easy to use. I love that it's like a jumbo crayon or a jumbo pencil. It just makes it so easy to apply your lips, especially if you have smaller lips like I do. This definitely makes it easier. I guess the downside is you need to buy a jumbo sharpener, but I already had one, so it wasn't a big deal to me. Formula is just so good. It's so velvety and blurring on the lips. It looks so soft and pillowy once you apply it. This is my favorite shade. It's in the shade Girls Trip. I've worn it in so many videos, and every time I'm wearing this lipstick, somebody asks in the comments, like, what am I wearing on my lips? And it's always girls trip. I went through a phase where I would just wear this one in almost every single video. Great formula, long wearing. I think it transfers, but it is matte, so it's not going to be slipping or sliding around your lips. And it's just amazing. And I also just love how innovative it is with the brush at the end. I actually use the brush a lot more than I thought I would. But anyway, this is my first top lip product of 2020. So next product, actually I don't think this came out in 2020. I think it's been out for a while, but it's the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip, like liquid lipstick. I have not really been into liquid lipsticks lately. Like I don't reach for them very often. And I don't know, I just haven't really worn or preferred liquid lipsticks in a while, but this blotted formula was so nice in the spring and the summer. Just like a comfortable liquid lipstick. It does have that blotted effect, like it's gonna give you more of a muted lip look, but I really, really like it. I just remember wearing this shade in particular, which is called Zuma. I remember wearing this so much over the spring and the summer. It's just such an easy wearable shade. It's really comfortable on the lips. It dries down so it doesn't transfer, but it doesn't feel drying or like it's going to crack your lips or crumble throughout the day. Because it's so muted in tone, it fades nicely as well. So it's gonna wear down nicely. It's pretty long wearing. It's just an amazing lip product. I love the ColourPop Ultra Blotteds. The only problem is that they're like never in stock. So I have three shades and I wish I had picked up more, but I would definitely recommend them. Recommend them. They have been a favorite this year for sure. I'm so glad I went and purchased some. If you're kind of over liquid lipsticks, but you still want that dry down and that long wearing effect, I think you might like the Ultra Blotted. They wear pretty comfortably and they have all like the benefits of a liquid lipstick without like, you know, drying out your lips. Next up is actually the product that I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is such a good lipstick from the drugstore. It's the e.l.f. Sheer Slick 
lipstick and this is in the shade golden pear I know that some of you guys were saying that you had a hard time finding golden pear I bought mine off the elf website like directly off their site I haven't seen the sheer slicks in stores like drugstores where I am where they sell elf so hopefully we get them soon because the formula is so so good it's kind of like a bomb lipstick like it reminds me a little bit of the l'oreal shine and plumps or the revlon glass shine lipsticks or there's one from maybelline as well i can't remember what they're called a lot of brands have these style of lipsticks out but this elf one is the best formula that i've tried from this type of product it has the flat applicator it looks super glossy on your lips it is sheer like it's not gonna have a lot of color but it has enough color like you definitely do get some pigment out of it it's just so comfortable throughout the day I haven't been wearing makeup a lot in my daily life except for when I'm like filming videos some days I will just throw on this lipstick because I just love the feeling of it on my lips it doesn't slip and slide around your lip line it just sits really comfortably and it's just so good like I don't know how I don't know how to like express myself and my love for this lipstick. I know it's like been pretty recent that I've tried these, but they were like right away in my top lipstick picks for this year. I realized that I have another kind of bomb like product. I guess it's just been kind of a thing for me this year. Like since I've been working from home basically since March, I haven't really worn as much makeup. I rarely wear makeup except for videos and for that reason like i haven't been wearing lipsticks that much either so i've just been leaning more towards the low maintenance comfortable style lipsticks versus like the colorful or the bold lipsticks i guess that's why this made the list this year it's the ColourPop just a tint lip crayons these are so amazing and in a different way than the elf ones like i think the elf sheer slicks are just the most comfortable glossy sheer formula whereas i feel like this is more of just like um i don't know like it's more like of a thicker creamy bomb i guess and it's it feels a little bit heavier than the elf ones this shade is give me give me s'more but i also love their shade in more than ever that's an amazing color if you have like a medium skin tone like myself you might really like that shade the only downside to this product is the scent because it has kind of like a grapefruit like fruity type scent i really don't like the smell but i do like that these leave my lips feeling a little bit tingly i don't think they're like lip plumping at all but they definitely have like a minty tingling sensation to them which i personally like having that feeling on my lips i also love the packaging because it's just a jumbo crayon that you can roll up a twist up you don't need to sharpen it definitely one of my top favorite lip formulas from the ColourPop brand. Okay, we are on to the last lip product. This is actually a newer addition to my collection. I've only tried it this past November, but I loved it right away and I had to include it. I just love the formula and it was such a pleasant surprise. I'm wearing these a lot lately and these are the BH Cosmetics Cashmere Cream Lipsticks. This one that I have here is in the shade Yes. This came out with their like mistletoe Christmas collection, but they do sell these in their regular line as well. It's just such a comfortable lipstick. And like I mentioned, I'm not super into liquid lipsticks, at least I haven't been this year, but this product, even though it's kind of like a liquid lipstick, it sits more like a satin lipstick on your lips. Like it just looks so soft and velvety on your lips. It's not fully matte, it's not shiny or anything, but I guess it's definitely more of like a satin finish it just is so creamy so nice to apply i love the way it looks and the best part is that it is so long wearing it lasts on my lips for so long i have a red shade in this formula and it stays on my lips forever like i can get through two meals and that lipstick doesn't budge i don't know why because it's not transfer proof or anything but for some reason it just like sticks to my lips and it doesn't come off it might just be leaving a stain or something it's comfortable it doesn't dry your lips and it's just such a pleasure to wear i just i loved it as soon as i tried it so um i had to talk about it i had to mention it really nailed a formula here for sure that sums up this video i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what are your top lipstick products that you've discovered or tried in 2020. I'd love to hear what you guys have been loving this year. And don't forget to check out Sally Choi's YouTube channel. I'll leave her links and stuff in the description bar below. I'm really excited to see what her picks are gonna be this year as well. And yeah, thank you guys as always for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos and I'll see you on my next one.